Welcome to another episode of Jacob's Weekend Cooks. Today we got a special treat at Special for you guys because today we finally did it. We're headed up to Austin, Texas. We got a three hour drive ahead of us. I know it's like 30 minutes but we're here we're gonna get in line uh check in and see what's up okay we already pulled into the franklin's barbecue parking lot uh let's see what we got around here i'm not sure if that's the actual little shack or whatnot but anyways yeah we're getting checking in with the curbside getting everything done everything situated so right now we just gotta wait till 10 30 pop our trunk probably open it a little bit before that and get our brisket and get out of here. Right out, this three pounds does feel like three pounds. Got bread in the, the mix, uh, potato salad for the wife, and then uh, some extra barbecue sauce and some onions. So right now I'm gonna unwrap this and let's see what it looks like. It unwrapped, I don't know if the sun's gonna allow you to see, but anyways, we got two sausage links and we got the brisket. It looks like they gave us a point as well as some of the, the flat. It looks really soft, really tender. And then the flat, oh man, it's pull apart tender. And yeah, it still looks juicy, everything looking good. So right now, I'm gonna start feasting and I'll give you the little review here afterwards. All right, I got my meal already. It's a, uh, I got two sausage links, two strips of the flat, and then two strips of point. Okay, the point, yeah, it's tender. Everything's tender, really fork tender. Let's see, let's take a bite out of this. Oh yeah. Okay. It's really soft, really good. You can taste the saltiness of it. The fat rendered well. You ain't really gotta fight it. Oh yeah. Franklin knows what he's doing with his uh, barbecue. He ain't messing around. Now let's check the flat. Okay. Yep. It's really good. It's really good barbecue. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this up and then uh, I'll give you a little review afterwards. All right, here we are, the review portion of the Franklin's barbecue brisket. Um, what was what score would I give Franklin on a scale of one to ten? Well, I would give him an eleven, and the only reason I'm gonna give him an eleven is because he's the guy to beat. He's the number one. He's the one everyone knows about. If you look up brisket on the internet and figure out, try to figure out how to cook a brisket, odds are the first result you're gonna get is gonna be Franklin, no one else. So with that being said, it is it is delicious barbecue. Um, I guess if you ever YouTube his videos or whatever, I think he offers a class that you pay for on how to cook briskets. If you follow any of his instructions to the T, your brisket is going to come out very similar to the brisket that you're going to get at Franklin's. So I guess the second question would be like, is it worth it to drive over there to fly over there etc to get some of Franklin's brisket and the answer is going to be yes because at that point you're going to be able to gauge yourself on how well of a how good you're doing in relation to Franklin's actual brisket are you doing it the same as him better than him a little worse than him whatever also on that note say you already got your brisket down and you're using all your seasonings and you like the way it comes out hey gauge yourself like that Go ahead and drive out to Franklin's and see if your brisket stands a chance against the world famous man, right? Um, do I got any gripes about the brisket? Uh, I guess he's only got one location. So if you're trying to get a hold of his brisket, it's going to be tough. Aside from picking up curbside or maybe ordering it online 
and having it shipped home but it won't be the same thing it'll be uh frozen so yeah um that's one of my gripes a second gripe and see you take this with a grain of salt but after eating the brisket i did get up some burps and in my experience any time i get like the the barbecue burps there may have been some kind of seasoning in there that didn't agree with me according to franklin he uses salt and pepper but when i get those weird burps it's associated with msg and every time i've ever used seasonings that contain msg i get that that weird nasty flavor and i'm i'm not trying to say that he uses msg i could be wrong it could be just me right i'm having an off day but i want to say there may be a hint of msg in the seasonings yes i said it we'll leave it at that like i said i'm a small fry i'm a nobody yeah i'm gonna call out a big fry like that on something like that okay it is what it is right but everything else was delicious the presentation was delicious the bark was great everything was good on the brisket so what would i say on that is that you have to try it you have to put it on your bucket list and drive out and try it and if you like it you like it you don't you don't but at least you'll get it off your list and you'll know for sure so with that being said i'm hoping to pump out more videos like this some more reviews honest reviews from me and um yeah uh, maybe i'll make a little different episode list on this so with that being said hit that subscribe button hit that share button hit that like button hit that little notification bell and we'll keep on going forward from here until next time this is jacob saying peace